The Great Eight presents Power Up, Plug Into Fitness, featuring the talents of Nicole Judy, Katherine Matnack, and Akila Sanders. This course is designed as an introduction to the fundamentals of management and how these concepts relate to organizational effectiveness. But what is management? What traits define a good manager? While there are clinical definitions for such broad concepts, management is much more fluid. Management requires extensive internal and external communication skills, strategic planning and analysis skills, motivational and leadership skills, and the ability to adapt in a constantly changing environment. Of course, all of the aforementioned skills can be examined within the textbook, but a great manager is able to use these skills effortlessly in practice. Fortunately, Finger Puppet Management seamlessly incorporates and utilizes the tools necessary to ensure a student's future success in management. The Finger Puppet Management Project provides groups of students with the opportunity to utilize common management tools by building and creating a television show. Students will use storyboards and characters to create a show that adequately depicts various management concepts in motion. The technology and collaboration software used by the students during the production of the show are similar to the communication tools used in corporate America. And just as in the business world, the class project kicks off by getting to know your peers and building relationships. Working within an assigned group requires all members to demonstrate traits often associated with top management personnel. Group members are encouraged to be organized, communicate clearly, lead, listen, and use insight to be forward-thinking. Management styles and techniques will be unique to each group, but one overall concept remains the same. The success of the manager can be measured by the success of the team. Developing a vision and mission require that the group analyze and assess certain internal and external factors that may impact future choices. The group will utilize the strategic management process by establishing objectives, formulating a strategy, and then implementing this strategy. Issues are identified, alternatives are proposed and evaluated, choices are made, and then the chosen alternative is implemented. The success of this show can be wholly attributed to its creators, Nicole Judy, Katherine Matnack, and Akila Sanders. Known as the Great Eight, this trio shares the group goal of creating a project that exceeds expectations based on mutual respect, cooperation, and attention to directions and deadlines. The Great Eight owes its success to the advanced planning and task allocation that occurs at the beginning and end of each week. Each team member possesses a unique combination of skills and talents that can be optimized to best fit the upcoming project. Continuous communication and collaboration ensure the timely completion of all assignments and provide a quality work product that exceeds expectations. Welcome to Power Up Gym. Power Up Gym is a family-owned fitness facility located in Tampa, Florida. Founded by Mr. Fit in 1980, Power Up is an ethical agency that has deep ties to its community. PowerUp is guided by the strategic corporate social responsibility perspective and prides itself on creating meaningful value for itself and the greater Tampa Bay area. PowerUp understands that its clients are diverse and has adopted a global mindset. The awareness of the cultural differences of its clients and staff has helped PowerUp stay ahead of its competition. However, there are changes underway at the gym. Mr. Fit is ready to retire and pass down his legacy to his son Rex. In addition to this major management transition, there are other important management decisions to incorporate. The push for cutting-edge programs and enhanced technology has the gym staff scrambling to plan and implement its new strategic vision. Are you a male or female between 18 and 80? Have you ever had held a job, gone to college, or worked out in a gym? Then this show is for you. Hailed by critics as the breakout management comedy of the season, Power Up will become your new obsession. So set aside a weekend, grab a snack, and come and get plugged in. Now, let's meet the cast. Mr. Fit, the founder and CEO of Power Up, has reached the point in his career where he would like to consider retirement and hand his legacy down to his son, Rex. He is the type of person who learns by doing and hopes to teach his son in the same manner. 
He can often be found waltzing in and out of the gym on the way to the golf course. His one-liners usually include a surprise strategic management decision and cause chaos in his wake. Mr. Fitt's humanistic approach to management is what has made Power Up a success. Rex Fitt is Mr. Fitt's only son. Rex is highly educated, highly degreed, and is well-read on the topic of best management practices. However, his experience is theoretical only. He is a methodical planner and often tries to apply textbook solutions to real-world situations. Ultimately, Rex's goal is to impress his father and show that he is worthy to take on the responsibility of running the gym. Rex will need to overcome his tendency to overplan and learn quickly how to think on his feet. Marianne is the receptionist at the gym. She just graduated from college with the ambition to one day own and operate her own gym. She possesses both Mr. Fitt's sense of social responsibility and social intelligence, as well as Rex's book smarts and appreciation for strategic management and planning. Marianne is a born leader with a clear and appealing vision. However, these very same qualities may prove dangerous should Marianne take her vision to the competition. BJ is Jim's longtime personal trainer on staff. He has been working as an employee of Power Up for 15 years. BJ is a stubborn employee and resistant to change. Management will need to provide him with encouraging plan analysis in order for him to be on board with shifts in the gym's mission and values. Abby is the gym's yoga and Pilates instructor. She is an independent contractor who enjoys a certain amount of autonomy and doesn't want to be bothered by change. She pays rent to the facility in exchange for studio space in which to host her classes. Her only motivation is to remain profitable, and she believes changes in management strategy will not impact her. However, she will soon learn that deviations in vision and planning very well may impede upon her current business practice. In Episode 3, Escalating Commitment and Prospective Rationality, Power Up is looking to add some new members. Rex does some thinking and remembers that some of their competitors introduced a new program the previous year, which turned out to be very lucrative. By using prospective rationality, Rex perceives the future outcome to be profitable and decides to bring this program to power up. However, the new classes aren't filling up like Rex thought they would. Nonetheless, since he has put so much time, effort, and money into this project, he doesn't want to just abandon it and so he decides to continue advertising the new program. Here, Rex is demonstrating escalating commitment. He intentionally continues to follow a course of action, even as evidence suggests his original decision is a mistake. In order to overcome these issues and make power up a success, Rex needs to ignore his past investment, as these are sunk costs. It would also be wise for him to meet with his team and discuss the gym's options and expectations. Although, here he should be careful to avoid groupthink. Different perspectives are always ideal when solving management problems. In Episode 7, Motivation, the team at Power Up has mixed feelings about Sparks Kitty Summer Camp. However, Rex has spent a great deal of time on his reinforcement tactics and the communication of consequences. By reminding BJ of the past success he has had prior programs and offering the same reward system, Rex has used positive reinforcement on BJ. Alternatively, Rex has threatened Abby with punishment. He lets her know that unless she is willing to offer additional classes through Sparks, she will no longer be able to host classes at the gym at all. Unfortunately, using negative reinforcement on Mary Ann has backfired. He removed all consequences from her, and so her indifferent attitude is sure to continue. Rex is wise in applying content theories when determining individual motivational factors, but his error in judgment with Marianne could cause additional problems for the gym. Rex doesn't know it, but in her spare time, Marianne has been working on a plan of her own. She's been meeting with potential partners and business investors and thinks that now may be the right time to actualize her own dream. She wants to open an all-women's gym named Phoenix. Rex will need to reevaluate his motivational techniques in order to keep Marianne engaged, or the gym may lose its most valuable employee. For a team to be considered successful, it needs to provide valuable output greater than that which would be put forth by individual effort. The group must also maintain and culture cooperation among its members. Finally, the group members must feel satisfied as individuals and feel as if they have increased personal knowledge. 
Using these determinants as a guide, the grade eight was a fantastic success. The management skills applied during finger puppet management are invaluable and will add to each member's competitive advantage in the business world. By creating our finger puppet management television show, each group member participated in the planning, organizing, directing, and controlling process. Each member also played an informational, interpersonal, and decisional role. Please read our personal conclusions, recommendations, and reflections as we share our gratitude and appreciation for such an amazing management experience. Mm -hmm.